brackets, meaning we had the brackets in there and we're expanding them out to get rid of them. Today we want to reverse that. You need to be able to go both ways. Today I'm going to give you an expression and you want to factorize it back up again, which means put it back into the brackets. So that's what it says here at the top. You're right. Everyone should be completely silent. Like up the top here it says factorizing is the opposite of expanding. We're doing the opposite today. To do that, we need to be able to find the highest common factor, otherwise known as HCF, which is the biggest number and letters that are in common to both of them. So, for example, if I had the numbers 20 and 25, I want to think of the highest number that I can divide both of them by. And hopefully you're thinking of the number 5. Both of those numbers divide evenly by 5. We don't want to go into any decimal numbers here. Um, so 5 is the biggest factor we can pull out of them. But we are doing algebra here. So if I give you something like 10AB and 12AC, I need to find both the highest common factor of the number and the letter. So numbers first, 10 and 12. The highest number they can both divide by is 2, okay? But they both also have an A, don't they? So A is also the common factor. So that's why here it says 2A is the highest common factor because it divides by 2 and the A is a common letter. So first of all, in our examples, we're going to practice that. We're going to practice finding the highest common factor. So my first one, 20 and 25, oh, spoilers, we already did that. What's the highest number, Ethan? Five. Five. We did that in the example. Sometimes it might mean that you get your calculator out and you go, oh, I think it's five, but you check dividing each of them to make sure that it works. Okay? B, 18 and 24. Hands up, what number can I divide them both by? Anton? Uh, uh, three. Oh, no, yes. Yeah. Three. Three works, good, but it's not the highest. Uh, I was going to say Noah. Six. Six is the highest. Now, another thing. What about nine? Shh. Nine doesn't go into 24. The other thing, if you're having trouble with finding factors, back in year seven, when we first did this at the very beginning of the year, we learned to write out factor lists. So you can resort to that as well. So 18, for example, you list off all the things that you can divide 18 by. So you go, yep, one works. You start at one, you count your way up. Two, yes, two divides into 18. Three, six, nine, and 18. Remember writing off those lists of factors? And then 24. Can we have some quiet, please? List off the factors of 24. You can divide by 1, you can divide by 2, you can divide by 3, you can divide by 4. 5 doesn't work, but 6 does, 8 does, 9 doesn't, 10 doesn't, 11 doesn't, 12 does. And once you get halfway, then you skip to the end, it's 24. And once you have the two factor lists, you're looking for the highest number that's in both of them. And you can see the 6 is the highest number that's in both of those lists. So that's the long way of finding your factors. Hopefully you'll get to the point where you can just look at them and go, yep, I know that's going to be a 6. So 6 is the highest number factor. But remember the letters. If the letter is in both of them, then it's a factor as well. And they both have an A. So 6A is the highest common factor. All right, C, hands up the numbers. 12 and 15, what can I divide both of them by? The biggest number I can divide both of them by. Joey. Three, correct. Three. Now, looking at the letters, one has an X and one has an X squared. So I can only bring out one of the X's as a common factor. The other one had two, but only one of them was in common. D. 18AB squared and 12A squared B. The numbers, it's always the numbers the trickiest part, I think. 18 and 12, 
Uh, yeah, Cash? Highest number. Ethan? Six. Six, correct. Six. And the letters, they both have, one has one, boys, silent please. One of them has one A and the other has two, so I can only bring out one A as a factor. And then the Bs, we have the same thing. We have one with one and the other with two. So I can bring out one of each of those letters. Once you can identify the highest common factor, then we're ready to factorize, which is question two. We actually want to put them into brackets. So we're looking at our two terms, these things here, the 6x and the 15, and we're looking for our highest common factor, the highest number, somebody other than these guys, that I can divide both of them by. Three. Some, you've had a turn. Three. Yeah, you had a turn. Yeah, Layla. Two, doesn't work with the 15, unfortunately. Sai. Three. Three. There is no letters on the 15, so we're not going to have any common factor for the letter. Once you have identified the highest common factor, it's going to sit at the front of your bracket. Then, to work out what goes inside the bracket, we have to divide each of those terms by that highest common factor. So starting with the first one, 6x. 6x divided by 3 is 2x's. 6 divided by 3 is 2, and the x is just sitting next to it. Then I have the plus sign, and now I want to divide the second one. So my second term was 15. 15 divided by that 3 is 5. Wonderful. Okay, and that is it. That's factorizing. Done our first one. Woo! Let's do it again. Part B. Look at the two terms that we have, a 2x and a 6. The highest number, Ethan, is? Three. Incorrect. The Nine. highest number that I can take both out, Layla. Two. two. Don't be silly. Two comes out the front. Open up your bracket. Now we do each term and we're going to divide. 2x divided by 2. 2 divided by 2 is just 1. And I have the x. Do I need to write the 1? No. 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 Okay. That's I can just write the x. Then the plus sign. 6 divided by 2 is? 3. Three. Correct. That's what I meant. Oh, that's what you meant. Okay. So, um, can you wait? It's a bit noisy while we're doing this. Part C. So you're going to tell me the answer, were you? Oh, no, I was just going to ask you the F1. It is on, yes. All right, part C, 10Y and minus 5. Okay, what is my highest common factor? 5. five. five. Yes. No, 5 comes out the front. Open the bracket. 10Y, so just the 10. 10 divided by 5 is 2. And the y will sit after it, 2y. This time, for the first time, I have a minus sign. Then 5 divided by 5 is? 1. 1. And because there's no letter there, I really do have to write that 1, okay? It has to be there, 1. 16, a plus 24. I think I should start just picking on people that haven't told me an answer yet. So, 8, eight correct. Eight is my highest common factor. Open the bracket. Dividing. Sixteen divided by eight is? Two. Two. Two A plus then divide the second one. Twenty-four divided by eight is three. Now I know that these guys up here are telling me lots of answers, but is everybody is this making sense? Yes. No. Yes? Good. All right, E onwards, we might start getting some letter factors in here as well. So 18xy and minus 9x. Highest common factor. Anton's going to tell me. Six. Not Three. quite. Layla's going to bail him out. Nine. Nine for the number. Is there a letter in both of them? Yes, Mia. 
Why are you looking at the next one? So there is a 9x. Okay, open the bracket and now we start dividing. 18 divided by 9 goes twice. Now when you do the letters, you have this x has come out the front. So there is a y that will need to go in there. So just the y. Then the minus sign. 9 divided by 9 goes once. That x has come out the front, so I need that one, okay? Because it went once. Next one, 21 and 14k. What is the highest common factor? Someone who has I know you guys know how to do it. We need someone who hasn't done it yet. Sai, have you told me one? What is it? Seven. Open the bracket. 21 divided by 7 is 3 plus 14 divided by 7 is 2 and we also have the K. You can use your calculator. Once you have found that highest common factor, you can use your calculator. Oh, 21 divided by 7, oh, that's a 3. You can use your calculator to do the dividing. So I know some of you aren't as confident with dividing numbers. Next page. Lots and lots of practice because we're going to get really good at this. G. What is my highest common factor? Okay, Layla. Three. No, there's a bigger one. Yes. Uh, I know this. Reese. Nine. Yes. And letter? Cash? Letter. Yeah, stop talking. It is M. There was an M in both of them, so it had to come out as a factor as well. 36 divided by 9 is 4. The M has come out the front, but the N needs to be inside. Minus sign. 27 divided by 9 is 3. The M has come out the front, so I close the bracket. Guys, I need you to stop talking. I know you know how to do this, but you need to let everybody else listen. For H, it works if there's three of them as well. We just have to find a factor that works for all three of them. Yes, Holly. Five. Five. Perfect. Is there a letter as well? A. A. Perfect. Well done. They all have a five in them and they all have an A. So then open the bracket. One term at a time. Fifteen divided by five goes three times. The A is moved out the front, but the B sits in here. Moving on to the second term. 10. So 10 divided by 5 is 2. I have an A and a C. The A has go, goes out the front, but the C is in here. And the last one, minus 25. So 25 divided by 5 goes 5 times. The A has been taken out the front. Close bracket. I. There is no number factor there. In fact, there's no number on that first one at all. It would technically be a one. There's no number factor that we can bring out here. But is there a letter? Yeah. Yes. What is it? X. X. Yeah. No, just one X. Okay. Even though the first one is squared, this one only has one. So we can only take it out if they both have it. So if I take one X out the front, if I've taken one of these out, maybe there's two, that squared means there's two of them. If I've taken one out here, it means the second one will need to go in the bracket. Then the plus sign. Looking at the second one, the X has come out here, but the four is going to have to go inside that bracket. Okay. J, four X squared minus six X. Hands up, who can tell me? Uh, Mia. 2 and x, wonderful. 2x out the front. 4 divided by 2 is 2. Now I had an x squared. One of them's out here. The second one's going to have to go inside. Then the minus sign. 6 divided by 2 is 3. The x has gone out the front, so we close that bracket. Still making sense? Yep. Wonderful. All right, question three. This is the last one in the examples. 
And these ones, we have minus signs in there. Now, with minus signs, you kind of have a choice. You can, if, if there is two minus signs, like they both have a minus sign, you don't have a choice for those ones. If they both have a minus sign, you have to take the minus sign out as a factor. In any of these other ones where you have one minus sign, you can take it out if you want to or not. However, I think there is some questions in the exercise that say, take the minus, it actually tells you to practice taking the minus sign out as a factor. Okay, but when it comes down to the test, I will mark it right either way. If it is, if it's like this one here, if you take the minus out as a factor, it'll be right. If you leave it in, it's still right. Okay, because it could be going either way. But let's practice for all of these ones taking the minus sign out as a factor because that's the new skill here. Okay, so bring. I'm going to bring a minus sign out for all of them. Then. Looking at the numbers, 10 and 5, the highest factor I could take out of that is a 5, and I will open the bracket. Now, because the minus sign has come out as a factor, I now need to go 10 divided by 5 is 2, 2, and I have an A. All right, this is the tricky part. Because I have brought the minus sign out as a factor, and this one didn't have a minus, what is going to be my sign here, do you think? Minus. A minus. Okay? So if you're bringing, any time when you bring a minus sign out of the factor, it changes the sign of this one here. So it'll become a minus 5 divided by 5 is 1. And you can always check. If you factorize something and you're not completely sure if it's right, practice expanding it back out again and see if you get back to what you started with. Okay, let's try B. We know we're going to practice taking the negative sign out as a factor. So then we look at the numbers. 12 and 6, the highest factor there is a 6. Open bracket. For the first term, the minus is coming out. 12 divided by 6 is 2. And the X. Now, because we've taken a minus sign out, that plus is going to change to a minus in here. And 6 divided by 6 is 1. Is everyone still with me now? I've made it more complicated with minus signs? Oh, they're a bit trickier. You've always got to be, always, it's always minus signs where the tricks are. Okay, C, we keep practicing. We've got some more of these. Hopefully it'll start making more sense. The minus sign, we're going to bring it out as a factor. Looking at the numbers, 21 and 14 can both be divided by 7, good. And looking at the letters, an x and an x squared. So I can bring an x out as a common factor as well. All right, what is left to put in the brackets? Minus sign is done. 21 divided by 7 is 3. And I have one x there with that 21, but it's come out the front. So that one's done. Then, this, this plus sign is going to change to a minus sign. So I'm dividing by a negative. 14 divided by 7 is 2. There was the two x's there, but I've taken one of them out, and one of them needs to stay in the bracket. Lots of things to remember, isn't there? D, bringing the minus out. 36 and 24. What number? Biggest number, because there's actually lots of choices here, but we want the biggest one. Six works, but big, uh, wait. No, you're right. Six is the biggest. I was going to go for nine there. I would have been wrong. Six is the biggest. What about the X's? Can I bring anything out? Yes, Just one? All right. Working out what's inside the brackets. The minus sign, I'm taking that out the front. 36 divided by 6 is 6. The x squared, one of them's out the front and one of them's in the bracket. All right, second term, we get the minus sign in here. 24 divided by 6 is 4. And the x has already been taken out the front. Oh, I knew there was a higher factor. Look at those numbers. 
Six and four. There's an extra two in there. That's the what six wasn't the highest common factor. What was it? Nope. Twelve. Oh. So if we had done this on the test, probably not a bad idea that I did this here. If you do it on the test, you're still going to get part of the mark because you have factorized, but we just didn't find the highest common factor. Okay? And hopefully, like me, if you do that and you see those two numbers there, you go, oh, both of those numbers divide by two, it means that we could have taken a bigger factor out. Okay? So let's now do it again with a bigger factor. Okay? So minus 12 was the biggest one that we should have taken out. So 36 divided by 12 should be 3x minus, and 24 divided by 12 is 2. So we would have got one mark if we'd done the top version, two marks if we had have done the full biggest factor out for the second one. Mm. All right, E and F, both of them are negative signs. So this is good. So this is where we definitely must take out the minus as a factor because in both of them, 12 and 4, the highest common factor is what, Ethan? 3. No, that's the answer. The highest common factor is the 4. Oh. So the 4 comes out the front. 12 divided by 4 is 3, which is, I think, what you keep trying to tell me. No, because this minus sign I've brought it out. It's coming out as a factor, Okay. I do have the x though. Then, like with the other ones, when I bring a minus sign out, I, this is now going to change sign. I'm bringing it out as well, which means it's now going to become a plus. Anytime you bring a minus sign out, it changes that middle symbol. Okay? 4 divided by 4 is 1. Close bracket. Last one. Minus sign out the front. 27 and 18. Biggest number. Yes. Nine. Nine, yes. And there is also an X that is a common factor. Open the bracket. The minus sign is out the front, so I divide 27 by 9, which gives me the 3. And I bought the X out the front. Yep, that makes sense. We're finished with that. The minus sign in the middle is going to change into a plus. 18 divided by 9 goes twice. And the x squared, 1 is out the front, so the second one needs to be in the bracket. I know that was a lot of examples, but you can see how there's just all these little extra tricks that come in there. Um, it's good to have that bit of practice. So your turn. Right here on the next page.